Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is a review video of the mask that I have used this past week. Uh, my friend Ann from Ann Hatfield here on YouTube, she started doing these little um, reviews once a week on the mask that she used. And I love that idea, so I'm going to kind of steal that idea. So, Ann, I hope you're okay with that. Anyway, so, um, basically I do have the mask that I have used um, probably the last two weeks um, because I've been trying to use my martini mask that I have um, to use those up because they have either expired or they're getting really, really close to expiring. So I want to use those up before I really hit... Um, hot and heavy the the mask that um, Ann sent to me the ones that she ordered from all these different Co Korean websites that I cannot wait to start using like every single day anyway so um, the martini mask are a professional mask um, but they do sell them on Hot Look every now and then and I know Tammy from Uppy Speeds 59 will sell them also occasionally on her um, channel. She also does giveaways with them also, so you might check there. But I do know you can get them on Amazon. Um, like I said, Hope Look and um, Tammy. There's some places that you could possibly purchase them. They are pricey. Um, they're anywhere from 10 to $20, but you can use them for at least up to three times. Um, I will tell you that when I ordered, I was able to get them at a, a professional discount because of the fact that I actually own a storefront store. And so I was able to get them that way. But anyway, um, they are a USA-based uh, mask. They're not a Korean mask. And most of them are um, two pieces. A two-piece gel mask and a few of them are a one-piece cotton mask anyway so let's kind of get started with these and let me show you what I've got and what they've did and my thoughts on them so first I'm going to start with this one here this is the milk collagen mask now this I'm going to do the martini ones first and then I do have a couple of the um, the Korean ones that Ann sent to me because I couldn't wait to use those but this is the um, the milk collagen and this is blended with rich vitamins acids and plant extracts that exfoliate and hydrate and I will tell you that this was this was the sheet mask it was one I kept it it's just one sheet and that's what it looks like there it's a little crinkly and it's a really thick cotton it's not really thin or flimsy it's a really good substantial cotton I mean it's pretty sturdy you can hear I mean I'm doing it pretty hard and it's not tearing or anything I did use this three times and it just kind of lays over your face like this let me get it on there which of course you know, when it's saturated with solution it automatically just stays on your face and not doesn't fall off like it's doing right now but that's how you kind of just lay it on there um i always use my mask between 15 to 30 minutes more on the 30 minute side than the 15 minute side um this mask here i really really did like this there's just one one drawback to this mask <clears throat> And it was a very major drawback is the fact that it was so saturated with solution that it um, dripped, which I didn't mind it dripping down my neck and everything because I just kept rubbing it in. The issue that I had with it was that it would drip into my eyes and it stung so bad, so bad that my eyes were watering. You know how you get something in your eye and your eyes just automatically start watering to flush out that foreign body. This is what my eyes did. And so finally on the second night, I just took a paper towel with me and just kept wiping through the eye hole, 
wiping that solution off my eyes because it just hurt so bad that stinging but I loved the way this made my face feel it was so moisturizing and the solution in it was a lot different than any other solution of a mask that I've used and there's a little bit left in here I'm going to get some out on my finger so that you can see it is a really thick solution I mean it's not a clear liquid it is like almost like lotion consi consistency and the way it just moisturized and just went into my skin I just loved this with the exception of it dripping into my eyes and just stinging I don't know I don't know what I can do to keep it from doing that but oh so moisturizing had a really pleasant scent to it like a more like along the lines of a natural scent oh I really did like it. I think I have like six more of these and I would almost be prone to, after those are gone, repurchasing this one out of the martini. Out of all the martini ones, this one has been my absolute favorite by far. Even though it drips in my eyes and kills my eyes. But other than that, the solution in it is, is wonderful. So I had that one. Let me get this little guy back in there. And then I have this one. This is the Antioxidant Tomato Mask. And get the package up there. And hopefully that will focus pretty good. And this one, if I remember correctly, was um, a sheet also. Like the, the milk one. Can't get it open. Pretty sure it's in here. Yeah. Yes, it was another sheet one. And this one is still wet <laughs> it has not completely dried out and I used this at least three or four nights ago and it's still really really wet with solution still so they have a lot of solution you can put them on your face leave them on your face for a good 30 minutes and they're not going to dry out and you're going to be able to put this back into your packet because you have a lot more solution left in the packet and then you can use it for another night um, the only thing that I didn't like about this one, and there's another one that's along the same lines, is that this one, the solution was very sticky. And I'm going to assume that it's because of the tomato that's in there. This made it very sticky. But as far as, you know, the hydration and making the skin feel good, yes, it did really well. Um, I really don't think there's too many masks that I've tried that I don't like. But uh, this wasn't my favorite because... You know, this part, the solution, my hands right now are very sticky from that solution. So anyway, and this one says that it is, um, has the antioxidants to um, clean and um, revitalize the skin. Or clear, it's not clean. And is um, excellent for... Oh, healing sunburn wound, wounds and sores. So it has, you know, a um, multiple uh, function that you can use it for. It has hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin C and E. Anyway, that was the tomato. And then this one here was the cucumber. And this was the cucumber collagen mask. And this is a ultra gentle, non-stinging, anti-irritant mask. That soothes and hydrates the skin and is for all skin types. And this one, it really did um, soothe and hydrate. Um, I was having, I had got up too late and put my makeup on without prepping my skin. I just put my foundation on and just went. And my skin by the end of the day was so dry and so irritated. But I used that for the next three nights and it really did help to calm my skin down. I usually don't have any issues like that, but I think because I didn't prep my skin properly that it just, that foundation, and I've worn that foundation every day, I like it, it just completely dried me out and this, this really helped. This was a two-part um, mask, so you had a, a part that went over the top of your face and this went over the bottom of your face, and you can see it was a gel and you can see all the solutions that's still in 
this little packet so they have plenty of solutions in them and um, they fit really nicely on the skin and the little gel packs the gel masks they don't slide all over the place um, you definitely can't be you know up walking around you do have to kind of lay back relax while you're doing it but that's what you want to do anyway when you're doing a mask just take some time and just enjoy yourself um, it's like the end of the day and I'm like all clogged up allergies have been kicking my high knee this past week the next one for Mart martini is the arbiton whitening whitening collagen mask and this is to help with discolorations and um, hydrating it has antioxidants in it um, it's just to address the signs of photo aging um, for brightening mature skin with brown spots or fair complexions prone to freckles but um, crazy as it is you know freckles are like in style right now so I've seen so many tutorials where people are actually creating little spatterings of freckles on their noses anyway this again was one of the little gel packs this was a little bit of a thicker gel pack than what the um, the cucumber one was this one's a thicker substance as you can see and it's still dripping and I did I use this three times and there's still lots of solution in there but that's what that looks like and you just put it like over your face like this and lay it real I mean it's gonna tear I mean I can't like really 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 pull on it because it will tear but it's not going to tear up while you're trying to put it on this is another art another arbitron Arbutin Whitening Collagen Mask. Had another one of those. I always like to make sure I get something that's going to help with discolorations on my face to make sure I'm not getting like any um, age spots. So there's a, my mom has a really big age spot on her face and my sister is getting one also and I've seen the beginnings of one and kind of in the same spot that they have so trying to make sure that maybe I don't get it but you know and then this one here this was the chocolate rejuvenating collagen mask this one was probably one of my least favorite ones just for the fact that it did smell like chocolate but it smelled like generic chocolate like not like cocoa chocolate more like like Tootsie Row chocolate <laughs> I just did not like the smell of it at all so um, and again it was the little two pack and the mask itself was a a brown color and the solution was a brown color also anyway I just didn't really care for it but anyway it was for um, for dull complexions while reducing the appearance of large pores, uh, smooths roughness and infuses the skin with moisture, promotes circulation. But anyway, I had that one. Not a lot to say about it because I just didn't really like it. And then this one here, this is the H E A K H A. I never know how to say this. Berry collagen mask. There. Again, it was a two-part mask. And the little solution was like a purpley solution. I put so much solution in these. <clears throat> I need to start doing what Ann does and pours in. She pours them into a an empty jar and then she uses it at the morning time. Just picking it on her face. I need to start doing that. And this is um, one to help to enhance um, cellular turnover. It brightens, firms, and eliminates free radicals. Um, it has fatty acids in it like omegas 3, 6, and 9, which help to strengthen the collagen and the elastin fibers that are in our skin. So, that one was good. I did like that one. And then the last one that I have here, this is the um, Le Belage Natural Mass Pearl. This was a Korean one that Ann has sent me. I really did like this one. Um, the mask was big enough that it fit you know, over my entire face. It wasn't too small, but it wasn't too big. Um, the solution was very nice, or the essence. The Koreans, they call it essence. 
and um, I left it on for a good 30 minutes and the sheet didn't completely dry out so it was very soothing and just very fresh and very um, smoothing on my skin and I felt like once I took it off and rubbed everything in which is what else you want to do with these masks after you've taken them off your face whatever's left on your face you want to pat in you want to take solution or essence and rub it on your neck, on your decollete, on your hands and your arms and your feet and your legs. And you'll make sure that you're using your solution and getting the most bang for your buck. And these run about $1.50 to $2 on these. But I do recommend the pearl. I know I picked up some of the pearl masks from Naster and those are good also. So that one again is this one here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry about my voice. It feels like it's completely going away. And um, if you look forward to seeing these or would like to see more reviews on Mask, just um, give a thumbs up. Put in the comments below if you've done any mask, whether they're sheet mask or a cream mask or a rinse off mask. Just let us know uh, what your favorite mask is to use. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.